Hi guys, it's Yay for Yarn, and this is lesson four of the Learn to Knit series, and in this lesson I'm going to show you how to work the purl stitch. Now, the first row, again, is usually the hardest if you're working into your cast on, but we've already worked into the cast on, so, and I've also already worked several rows of knit stitch, as you can see in the previous video, and you're going to put, as always, the stitch, the needle with all the stitches on it goes in your left hand, the empty needle goes in your right hand. And again, you're going to hold the yarn in either your left or your right hand, whichever is more comfortable for you. I'm going to show you both ways. Now, for the purl stitch, you always hold the yarn to the front. When we were knitting, we held it to the back. Purling, we hold it to the front. So that means that it needs to be in front of both of my needles when I'm working the stitch. So I'm going to slide the stitches up closer to the tip and insert the tip of my right hand needle into that stitch, this first stitch, from back to front. So from the back to the front. It should be making an X and the right needle should be on top this time. Now, I'm going to wrap the yarn again counterclockwise around the needle, just like that, and then I'm going to pull through from front to back and take the old stitch off of my left needle. Again, I have my yarn in front of both the needles. I'm going to insert my right hand needle tip from back to front. I'm going to wrap the yarn counterclockwise around the needle and pull that strand of yarn through the previous loop, this loop, from front to back and slide the old stitch off of my needle. Again, insert the needle from back to front, wrap the yarn counterclockwise and pull through from front to back and slide the old stitch off. Now, for Continental, which is my favorite, you're gonna have the yarn in your left hand. Even though I'm not a lefty, I still prefer to have the yarn in my left hand because it is faster. So if you're just starting out, it, even if the English is a little more comfortable at first, it is a little bit better in the long run if you get used to the Continental style because you can work much faster that way. Now for Continental style, it's the same concept. We're gonna take this right needle tip, insert it from front to back, not in front of the, the strand of yarn, but only into this stitch. The strand of yarn always needs to be in front of your work, in front of both the needles and your work. So I'm inserting my needle tip from back to front into the next stitch. I'm wrapping the yarn counterclockwise, just like this, around the needle, which I do with my thumb to bring it down, and then I'm pulling it through from front to back and taking the old stitch off of my left needle. Again, I'm gonna bring my yarn, I'm not gonna go like this and go in front of the strand of yarn and then in the front of the stitch. I'm going to go behind this strand of yarn because this strand of yarn always needs to stay in the front. So, I'm going to push this out of the way for a minute so you can see it better. I'm going to insert my right needle tip from back to front into the next stitch. Wrap the yarn around the needle counterclockwise. Pull through from front to back and slide the old stitch off the needle. And I'm going to do this all the way across. So that's my first row of pearls, and it does look very similar to the garter stitch because purling every row is also going to give you garter stitch, which is the same as, it's the same look as knitting every row. You can do the same thing with purling every row. Still going to give you garter stitch. So I'm going to switch the needles from one hand to the other this time, and as you can see on this side, which we would call the front side you have a little bit, since we were transitioning from knit to purl, this is a knit row, this is a purl row, 
The pearl row on the front side when you're working it looks like bumps. On the back, which is most of the time the front in your work, they use this as a front and do this on the back. The front of a pearl stitch, which is, it's the back when you're working it, but it's usually only showing on the front side, looks just like a knit stitch. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to knit the next row so you can see what stockinette stitch looks like. Stockinette stitch is knit one row and then purl one row. So I'm knitting this next row. This would be called the right side row since this is the front side of the work. And as you can see, this row of knit stitches looks just like the rows below it. Now, the purl is, this, is accomplishing the same thing as the knit stitch, but purling is just what you do when you're on the back side. So we're going to purl across this row again. I'm gonna keep my yarn in the front, insert from back to front, wrap yarn around counterclockwise, pull through from front to back and slip it off the needle. And I'm gonna do this all the way across and I will show you one more time English style. Keep the yarn in front of both the needles here. Insert from back to front, wrap the yarn around counterclockwise, pull through from front to back, slide the old stitch off. And this is not real comfortable for me because this is not what I usually do, so I'm going to keep going continental style. So I've purled across this row. And you can see the difference in garter stitch right here, which, we, which you can also get by purling every row. But since I'm knitting a row and then purling a row, I'm getting stuck in that stitch. This right here is flat, it has no ridges in it, but it has all these um, curved bumps on, the, on this side. This is called reverse stuck in it. Ignore this little section down here. This part is called reverse stuck in it. This is the back side of stuck in that stitch. Sometimes people use it as the front side intentionally so that they can get a different look. But this is the front side of stockinette stitch. And as you can see, when we work a purl row on the back side, it gives us a knit row. It looks like a knit row on the front side because a purl stitch is the reverse of a knit stitch. Because on a knit stitch, you insert it from front to back. Purl stitch, you insert it from back to front. You always wrap the yarn around counterclockwise. But with a knit stitch, you pull through from back to front. With a purl stitch, you insert and pull through from front to back. So it's the mirror image of a knit stitch. So since you're working purl on the back side, it's going to appear as a knit on the right side. So if you knit a row and then purl a row, then knit a row and purl a row, it's going to look like you knit every row. But since you have to flip it over and go the other way, the purl creates a knit stitch on the right side. So keep working, alternating rows of knitting and purling. You could do purling garter stitch for a while and just do every row purling. That's okay if you want to do that, but that is not real common to do that in knitting patterns. Usually, we always knit the garter stitch instead of purling it. But you can practice if that's what you need to do to get comfortable with this stitch. So I'm going to keep knitting a row and then purling a row. And that's going to give me stockinette stitch. Some people also call it stocking stitch, but that is a, um, a more uncommon name than stockinette. So 
So there's what it looks like. This is um, garter stitch, which is knit a row, knit a row, knit a row, knit a row, knit a row. You're going to knit every row. Or you can also make garter stitch again by purling every row. This right here is my stockinette stitch. This is knit a row, purl a row, knit a row, purl a row. And you're going to keep doing that all the way as long as you want to until you feel comfortable with the knit stitch and the purl stitch and you're ready to move on to something a little more complex.